And we're back. Last part. Select the three items underneath. I'm just going to close my clipboard. Uh, beware of your own emotions. Control how and understand. And we're going to add bullets. So click the Home tab. And then there's two parts to bullets. We're just going to click the default bullet, which is the solid circle. And then click anywhere to deselect. And the arrows are showing because there's a tab in there. So if you want, you can turn the show hide off so that you don't see those arrows. If you decide that you don't want the that type of bullet, which is the default bullet, click any of the bullets and then select the down arrow. And that usually means more options and select the check mark. So you've changed it to check mark. The next thing we'll do is we'll select Scroll down. Under the how to build emotional intelligence, we're going to select, um, start with become aware, and we're going to select the four um, paragraphs there. And this one we're going to use numbering instead of um, bullets. So if you click the very first one, you'll have right now it's on none and we're going to select one with the period and it numbers them for us automatically. And then click to deselect. And then if you click any of the numbers and if you want, you could put them in bold. Notice it's just going to do it to the numbers and not the text. And I'll put those in bold. So click so that you're to the left of times in the very first numbered item. So it's, it's during, you're going to add peak space times and then click in front of think. And we're actually going to make think a whole new numbered item. So just press enter and it'll automatically number. And now we have five instead of just four and it numbered them numerically for us. So go ahead and, and choose Control Home. So it gets us back to the beginning of the document. And we're going to insert a picture. And hopefully um, when you were um, in your um, SAM Cengage, you would have seen the picture. And you would have um, added this picture. So you can click it if you need to go back to it now and open it. You need to save it somewhere in order to open it and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose um, save. So I'll choose the three dots, save as, and I'll just put it in pictures and that's fine. So you need to save it somewhere first. Now, when we're back in Word and we're actually going to use the picture, um, you're at the top of your screen, insert pictures and um, this device. And I should go to pictures and I should see it. There it is. Go ahead and click it, select it and press insert. It's going to be huge. Don't worry. We're going to change that. So the thing, what they want us to do is to change the size of it. So the first thing you'll do in, um, we have a whole new tab that's called picture format and over to the far right, this is height. So go ahead and click in there and type 2.5 and press enter and it makes it smaller. Then what we'll do is for the position of the picture, choose uh, position and we'll choose position in top right with square text wrapping. And then we're going to add to this picture what's called um, picture effects. So if you choose picture effects, and we're going to add a shadow and we want the very first one here offset bottom right shadow. So it gives like a shadow effect to the picture. And we'll select the title tips for job seekers. And we're just going to change the font color to, um, green accent six. So I'm going to click the down arrow and this should be green accent six. And then we'll click to deselect. 
and then we're going to check the preview of it. So view and one page to see how it appears on the screen. So we're just going to add a little bit more to the document. So you'll choose the tab labeled design and then you'll select over on the far right page borders and you're going to choose box. It's going to put a box and it just gave us a little sample preview on the right hand side and we'll click OK and it puts a line around the entire um, document and then uh, right now we're going to change the theme so the theme has to do with so I'm going to click back to home if we were to check any of the fonts right now um, it was the Calibri everything is Calibri 11 except when we changed the um, side headings remember we chose Berlin Sands FB 14 this one was 22 but it was all Berlin Sands so what we're gonna do and it fits nicely on um, one page but the spacing is also a little different so if we went into paragraph spacing it's the multiple um, zero before eight after so what we're going to do is change the theme. So back in design, choose themes. And the first one they want us to, to try is called organic. So they're all labeled organic. And you can see if you wanted to check what font, if I went back to the home tab, um, it's Garamond, still 11, but the font type changed slightly. Um, we still have the one that we initially created on our own, but the body of it changed. So we'll go back to design and we'll go back to themes. And this time they want you to choose, so it was organic. And the next one they want you to try is Vapor Trail. So we'll select that. And the font, you can see um, it comes uh, a little bit larger and it's still size 11, but the, the type Century Gothic is a, um, a larger looking font. And then we'll change the colors of it by choosing design. So we have, uh, if we were to look back in here, you have the vapor, vapor trail. You'll go to colors and you'll choose blue. So it changed everything to blue. So make sure you save this. So it's an updated save. And then we can file close. And if you'd like to, you'll click continue so you can get to the next screen is where you'll be uploading these documents to see how you did. I'm going to restore to make this screen a little bit smaller. And then if I open the file folder, I can have um, the documents. So I'll go to my folder, um, documents, and in Word. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller. So what I can do is I can actually drag this into here to upload and then go back over here and I get the green check mark, drag this one into here. So I should have, um, if you don't have a green check mark, um, your name uh, that you called the document may be a typo or something missing so make sure it matches if not what you'll have to do is go back in here and if you have something spelled wrong or you forgot one of those um, underscores you would right click and rename it and um, that way you can when you go back into here you upload it and you get your check marks so then you'll click submit and after you click submit a screen will come up about view report go ahead and view your report and if you did everything correctly you'll get green check marks and it'll give you a hundred percent if you missed one or two items it'll tell you exactly what numbered item you missed you can go back and fix those resave them and resubmit them in here until you have a perfect score hopefully everything works out nicely for you thank you